Today, we are going to discuss viral warts, why you get it, and what are the treatment options available for complete cure. Common skin warts, or Verruca vulgaris, are caused by human papillomavirus infection. Human papillomavirus, or HPV, is a DNA virus with over 50 subtypes. Warts can get in at any age, but are particularly common in school-aged children, people who are on immune-suppressed medication. Virus infects by direct inoculation and is caught by direct touch, sexual contact, contact with a surface that has been contaminated with a virus. Viral warts can occur in any part of the body, including eyes, nose, palms, and soles. It can affect problematic areas like inside mouth and genitalia, where the mucosa is very sensitive. Viral warts have different shapes. Common warts arise often on the backs of fingers or toes around the nails. It has warty or rough surface over lesions. Plantar warts are painful warts on the sole. Many people don't bother to treat viral warts because treatment can be more uncomfortable than warts. They are hardly ever a serious problem. Warts that are very small and not troublesome can be left alone, and in some cases they will regress on its own. However, warts may be painful and they often look ugly. Taking simple measures to limit the spread of the infection is important. It can minimize spread in you and will also help to prevent someone from getting it. Plantar warts should be covered with adequate plaster strapping or the foot with close-fitting rubber. Wearing side sandals at swimming pools or communal baths or showers. Simple domestic hygiene, avoidance of shared towels is advised. Let's see how to use salicylic acid wart plaster. Dry wart area thoroughly. Apply wart plaster over covering wart surface. Repeat procedure every 48 hours as needed until wart is removed. You can try this for up to 12 weeks. Don't apply on irritated skin or infected or reddened area. On moles, on birthmarks, genital warts, or on warts on the face or mucous membranes. If you are not sure if you are having a wart, consult a doctor. Wart gel also acts in a similar manner. There is salicylic acid and its related compounds available as wart paints for wart removal. Wart paint can use for common and plantar warts. Wart paints can soak in a cotton bud and gently apply over the wart. Make sure not to apply on normal skin. It can burn your normal skin. Wart paint is applied once daily, preferably at night. Treatment with wart paint usually makes the wart smaller and less uncomfortable. Cryotherapy using liquid nitrogen. Liquid nitrogen products cold thermal damage to the skin. Liquid nitrogen, which boils at negative 196 degrees Celsius, is commonly being used in hospital practice, applied either by a cotton wool bud or from a cryo spray. Typically, the destruction of viral infection skin cells need temperatures at negative 20 Celsius to negative 30 Celsius. Liquid nitrogen is applied with a cryo gun. It should be directed at the exact site of the wart. Nitrogen forms an ice ball and destroys infected cells. It regresses the size of the viral wart. You may have to undergo three, four sessions depending on the clinical response. They are also available for you to treat wart by yourself at home. Cotton tip applicators can also be used to keep liquid nitrogen. Lesions in delicate areas were cryospray difficult to use. It has less pain and collateral tissue damage compared to cryospray. Cryospray with liquid nitrogen is difficult to use if patient is having multiple warts or warts in sensitive areas like around eyes or genitalia. There are many products available for removal of warts, which act by freezing warts, destroying viruses inside. You can visit our website www.uniqueskinsolutions.com for best products. For genital warts, you can try this, which has shown good evidence. 5% imiquiod is another trending treatment option for genital viral warts. 0.5% podophyllin is another option for penile and vaginal warts.
Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribed to our channel. See you next time. Bye!